Anita here and welcome to another video. Today we are doing a face video. It's so weird and I have such a bad lighting. I feel so bright. <laughs> My face is so bright. But today um, I've had a little bit of an accident over the weekend. Uh, where I have completely messed up a few of my fingernails uh, during a gardening session um, So I've decided to let them rest for um, a week because nobody wants to see these kind of nails in a close-up while painting Well, at least I don't want to see it for my personal <laughs> peace of mind So I've decided to do a little bit more of a talking video. I've had this one in my head for a while I wanted to do this one for a while and I've just recently my mom came visiting and she brought me kind of the last newest piece to my collection so I thought I could share it with you guys so this is a list of my current children books I have in my collection well children books is not really good it's more like picture books uh, illustrated books because not all of them are children books <laughs> As a sort of disclaimer, I think I should say that when I say when I say that I collect picture books, uh, to me picture books are more like art books, and the addition of the story makes it even more appealing to me. I don't I don't know if it's I just love illustrated stories. It doesn't matter if they're for children or for adults. I just love beautiful illustrations. And I'm also not picking up every single book I see or just collecting everything in general. I have a specific uh, feeling that I have to get when I see a book. Something that just makes me makes me dream and makes me really excited. <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it. There is a, it doesn't mean that if, if I don't have a certain book of a certain book is not on my wish list that it's just bad or something like that or I don't like it. Uh, it's also because I have a very limited space in my house, limited funds, and so I'm actually picking just the books that are the most inspiring books I can find. Uh, they are either by my favorite artists or they have just something in them that, um, that I really, really like. It, it, it's a matter of personal taste, so please don't feel like I'm making some kind of judgment here on any books or anything at all. It's just my personal preference. There, <laughs> I said it. <laughs> so I actually have them here in front of me right now and I think I'm going to start with the latest addition, ad addition, addition, addition to the collection um, which is is it showing? Yeah, which is um, actually this is not only one, this is four books um, which, yeah, they are in Polish, um, but the translation of the title would be um, Long, Long Ago, Beautiful Stories for Six-Year-Olds. And I also have uh, for four-year-olds, three-year-olds and five-year-olds. And uh, a lot of them are just, just traditional fairy tales. So you, you have, for example, like um, Snow Queen and uh, Red Riding Hood. Uh, aside, of, of course, of, from, of different stories that I've never heard about. The first time I came across this book was through Iraville. Iraville is actually in this one, the stories for six-year-olds. She is actually one of the illustrators and she illustrated, illustrated the Snow Queen um, and that's how I... I remember I've noticed it on Instagram I believe first and then I went visiting Poland when my mom was moving it was around May 2017 and I saw this book in a store and I don't know why I've decided not to pick it up I think it was something about just general luggage and I had limited funds at the time but it's been stuck in my head ever since I was so disappointed that I did not pick it up recently before Christmas I decided to finally order it and I tracked it down in a Polish store I sent it to my mom and now that she came visiting she brought all the books with her this is the only a uh, Polish uh, book I have uh, and that's because the original I believe came out in France uh, this is a French book and I couldn't find an English version and of course I don't understand French so I was really happy to see 
um, that there was a Polish version um, because there was no like the Dutch version wasn't there either. It's like the last backup. <laughs> it, it goes like this: it's always English, uh, or rather the original that I can read. So English, then Polish, then Dutch. The thing I absolutely love about these books is that they are collections. So they are not illustrated by the same artist. Um, each story is illustrated by someone else and because of that you get a wide variety of artwork, different styles, different artists that I've never heard of. It's like those old school catalogs when you had just a wide collection of things to choose from and then you could kind of pick what you liked. I kind of see this, th these books as sort of that kind of catalog. So for example, uh, of course I knew already Iraville. There are other artists here that I'm going to look up and if they have illustrated something more, I'm going to add those books also to my wish list because the, the illustrations here are absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not going to be able, of course, to show you all of them, but I am going to include a few that I really, really like. If you are a picture book lover, and or just an artist in general and you would like some inspiration if you're an, an aspiring illustrator I really recommend I recommend getting these books if they're available to you by the time I was recording this video they were not available in English sadly <laughs> the next position on my in my collection are the books of William Joyce uh, I have been a fan I wouldn't say a fan but I really loved the Guardians, um, Rise of the Guardians, oh my god, it took me a while just because the movie Rise of the Guardians is, has a different name than the book series these are Guardians of Children or the Guardian series and so it, I just keep thinking about the book series more than the movie these days so it kind of gets me <laughs> a little bit um, confused so William Joyce is an author and illustrator as well so he actually illustrates, writes and illustrates his own books. Now some of them have, as an illustrator, there's always some other name. So I'm assuming this is also like that he gets help or this is a co-illustrated book. But I follow William Joyce on Instagram so I know that um, that's his style of illustration. And so he illustrates at, at least partially his own books. I, I own actually uh, several of his books. I own the uh, three Guardians, um, just actual books. These are not really picture books. These are chapter book, I believe that's how they call it in English. But they have absolutely amazing covers. I love the covers of these books as well as you have little illustrations or what he calls illuminations <laughs> I really love that's a bit of an older way of calling it um, inside the book there are three novels in the Guardian series I believe there's another one which I don't have but it's uh, they, they keep coming up this actually he still publishes his books so it's really really nice because I, I just keep getting one every year if at least I try he also has actual picture books which are fully illustrated with beautiful, beautiful illustrations with this completely different style than the previous books I showed you. Uh, they're more, I would say, painterly even. Um, <laughs> that's the kind of feeling I get. The colors are gorgeous. It's just there, there's few full painterly illustrations that I'm absolutely in love with. And so I have two of his picture books. I got Jack Frost uh, in 2017 Christmas. No, 2016 Christmas. And then I got Sandman just recently um, for, for this year's Christmas. The Sandman picture book is probably my favorite out of the whole collection. Just because the way uh, this book uses primarily two colors. Um, not all of the illustrations, but just primarily yellow, which is the Sandman's color and then blue for contrast. So there is a, this beautiful contrast between those two primary colors and uh, I don't know, it just it just works for me. I am, I love it. Um, and adding to that very, very painterly feeling to it, it's just such a pleasure to look at. I am going to admit <laughs> that I have not read all of my picture books. So Sandman, I still did not read him. <laughs> I mean, there is not much text in that book because it is a picture book, but I, I still did not read it. Kind of ashamed here. The next position um, is a kind of a surprise, to be honest, because 
I picked up these books didn't even I didn't even expect to pick them up I didn't even realize that it was a thing um, that IKEA publishes picture books um, and so the very first book that I, I was just shopping at IKEA we we're just shopping it was just a shopping trip I love IKEA um, that's my like I just I could spend there my whole life and I would be happy and so when I saw this picture book and um, this one is in Dutch because of course I live in Holland so I have a Dutch IKEA but I know for a fact that these are available in English as well this one I just absolutely fell in love with the cover the color scheme was just out of this world the translation in this case is friends uh, in the dream uh, forest I don't know if that's the exact way they translate it into into English but that's that's what I'm translating from from this in from from the Dutch title Sarah Nielsen Bergman is the illustrator uh, in this case I'm really drawn to her illustrations because in some I, I just feel like this is something I would illustrate <laughs> I, I'm not saying the same style I'm not saying just the same topic the amount of detail the amount of little things to look at this is so the kind of illustration that I am drawn to I was so extremely surprised when I found this book um, at IKEA <laughs> of all places and every single time now at, uh, uh, at IKEA I keep checking the children's section whether or not there is a new book published and just recently before Christmas I found uh, this other book and this is the uh, night train I didn't actually look at the um, illustrator and the author but I was drawn again to the illustration style and, th and then I actually compared it and it was the exact same author and exact same illustrator so this was a really cool coincidence that I actually was once again drawn to them without actually knowing that it was them if that makes sense once again the, the amount of detail the texture is just absolutely gorgeous I am I can I'm just in love with this illustration style it's just something that I look up to really nice if you have IKEA around you and you're collecting picture books or um, you would really like to start collecting or just you know for inspiration I highly recommend these because they were so inexpensive as well like for for hardcover picture books very inexpensive <laughs> last but not least I have a picture book here that I don't even know if picture book is a good way of say of, of ex like describing this book um, it's just an illustrated book and I have to say that this is the book that I personally it's my goal and dream to illustrate something similar in a, in a similar fashion uh, to this book and here I'm talking about Terry Pratchett's The Last Hero illustrated of course by the great Paul Kidby um, this book is just it's very hard to explain it it's it's a story it's a full Terry Pratchett story of course a little bit shorter than his regular stories but nonetheless it's a story it's it's not it's a novel it's not like uh, usually you have picture books that have very minimal amount of sex because they are geared mostly for children or two children um, so you don't expect them to read that much they're supposed to look at the pictures kind of like a companion thing now this one the last hero it's a full-blown novel but it's illustrated <laughs> fully illustrated in the most amazing way and I am um, I read this book several times um, because I just I love it this is exactly the kind of book I would like to illustrate in the future um, whenever I say that I want to illustrate my own books this is what I imagine that it would be one of my stories and just illustrated in this way um, because this is just amazing <laughs> this is just absolutely amazing I will just keep saying that it's super amazing okay because that's the amount like I don't have I don't know any other words <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and that's it guys that's my collection of picture books that I have physically here <laughs> here like in my house now eventually I will of course try to get more books uh, more illustrated books and once I get them I will I will make another video and then this will become the part one and then it will become a part two the next video will be part two 
part three hopefully will be amazing um, and so on and so forth now uh, I have a wish list of picture books uh, I was thinking about adding it at the end of video but I was afraid it would be kind of weird to just show you my wish list of books I don't know it just feels it doesn't feel like it fits plus I knew for a fact that I would be rambling through the whole video about what I like in these books so I figured okay you know what I'm leaving the question the decision up to you would you like to see what's on my picture book wish list is that is that is that even a thing um, I don't know um, but if you would like to see it please let me know in the comments below and, uh, and I will make it I'm, I'm open to suggestions <laughs> also if you have any picture books that you like something that maybe is in a similar style to the picture books I showed you or um, just something you think I might like but it's different let me know as well I am always on the lookout uh, for new titles new picture books that's why I have my li wish list now and once I find something I immediately add it there so it's always there always there and we'll just you know so that I have it and um, yeah so that's that thank you so so very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye